Good morning, class. How are you today? That's good to hear. I am Clarice Falasho, and I will be your teacher for today. But before we start our class, let us first have an opening prayer. So let us close our eyes, bow down our heads, and pray. Our loving and generous God, we praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings you have given us. Thank you for giving us a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that have caused a lot of changes in our lives. Father, help us to focus on our studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gifts of courage and enthusiasm. All this we pray in your mighty name. Amen. Good morning once again, class. I am so happy to be with you today and learn more things. So I am here today to teach you about garbage segregation. And when we say garbage segregation, it means that we need to throw our trash properly. Do you throw your trash properly? Do you know how to segregate your garbage at your home? That's great! Now, I want you to look and sing along to the video that I'm going to show to you. Okay? Okay. <coughs> Isn't it so easy to complain when we see garbage in our surroundings? But do we ever stop to think of our responsibility? Let's think about that as we sing Segregate together. Before you leave the garbage outside at the gate the most important thing to do is segregate, segregate. Before you leave the garbage outside at the gate, the most important thing to do is segregate, segregate. Everything plastic, bottles made of glass, paper, cardboard packaging, segregate the trash. Veggie peel and eggshells, fruit skins and seeds, trash from the kitchen, segregate indeed. Before you leave the garbage outside at the gate, the most important thing to do is segregate, segregate. What to do with certain things you need to know. Like batteries and toxic waste, there's a place they go Before you leave the garbage outside at the gate The most important thing to do is segregate, segregate Dry leaves, flowers, twigs and weeds Rusty scissors, old torn shoes those newspapers, books and magazines Don't mix them with the other refuge Before you leave the garbage outside at the gate The most important thing to do is segregate, segregate The most important thing to do is segregate, segregate Very good class! So, the song tells us that it is important to segregate our trash. That is why our lesson for today, we will learn about biodegradable and non-biodegradable. So, do you have any idea what is biodegradable and non-biodegradable? If no, then let me introduce to you that we classify our trashes into two categories which are called biodegradable and non-biodegradable. So let us first talk about biodegradable. Bio means life and degradable means breakable. 
So when you put bio and degradable together, it forms a word biodegradable. So biodegradable is a material or an object that is capable of being broken down or decompose to small products by the action of living things such as the animals or microorganisms. So examples of biodegradable materials are the apple cores, paper products, or even a wasted flour, food waste, and eggshells. So something is biodegradable when little tiny microorganisms in the earth can break the object apart and turn it into a soil. It looks like the thing disappears but it actually just becomes a part of the soil. Composts are considered as biodegradable. When we say compost, these are the rotting fruits and vegetable peels that are used as a fertilizer. Take a banana peel for example. When you throw a banana peel in the trash, it will approximately take 3 days to degrade. So it means the banana peel belongs to the category of biodegradable trash. So where does the banana peel belong? You're right! In the biodegradable trash. So those are the materials that needs to be thrown properly at the biodegradable trash bins. So the next category would be, that's right, non-biodegradable. Non-biodegradable refers to materials or objects that are not broken down by organisms. In other words, the things which are not breakable by microorganisms into simpler things are called non-biodegradable. So examples of non-biodegradable materials are shopping bags, plastics, rubber, things that are made of glass and woods, metal scraps, and aluminum cans. So non-biodegradable wastes are those that cannot be decomposed by microorganisms into simpler substances. So such type of waste is a matter of serious concern for all of us. And if it is not handled properly, it causes pollution. Since they cannot be broken down or decomposed, they clutter on the earth's surface or the, in the natural resources and are termed as pollutants. So class, we need to throw our garbage properly or we can also recycle the trash that are non-biodegradable. Recycling non-biodegradable trash such as plastics, rubbers, or metal scrap is a great way to show our love and care for the environment. So in order for our trash to not clutter on the earth's surface, let us throw our non-biodegradable trash at the non-biodegradable trash bins. So in here, you will put the... What should we put in the non-biodegradable trash? That's right! The materials are waste that are not easily broken. So those are the examples of biodegradable and non-biodegradable trash. When we say biodegradable trash, what does it mean? You're right! How about non-biodegradable trash? Great! Now you know well. So now, let's have a quick review. So I have here the teacher-made trash bins. This is the biodegradable trash bin. And this would be the non-biodegradable trash bin. So I also have here the cardboards that represents the materials or the trash that needs to be thrown in the biodegradable and non-biodegradable trash bins. Very good! So I will present one cardboard and you will identify where to put the cardboard. Do we put it in the biodegradable or in the non-biodegradable? So, are you ready? That's great! Let's start! Do you know what this is? You're right! A shopping bag! So, where do we throw our shopping bags? In the biodegradable or in the non-biodegradable? You're right! In the biodegradable trash bin. 
So let's put it in here. How about the rubber? Should we put it in the biodegradable trash bin or in the non-biodegradable trash bin? Very good! In the non-biodegradable trash bin. Our crumpled paper. Where should we throw our crumpled paper? In the biodegradable trash bin or in the non-biodegradable trash bin? Correct! In the biodegradable trash bin. How about the aluminum cans or the can of our favorite soda? Do we throw it in the biodegradable trash bin or in the non-biodegradable trash bin? Very good! In the non-biodegradable trash bin. And now we have the last item, which is an apple core. So when we eat apple and we have this core, where should we throw it? In the biodegradable or in the non-biodegradable trash bin? Very good! In the biodegradable trash bin. Wow! It looks like you have mastered how to separate the trash properly. Now, you can finally identify which trash should we put in the biodegradable and non-biodegradable. So starting today, I want you to throw your trash properly by separating the biodegradable and non-biodegradable trash. Okay? That's great! So before we end our class, I want you to click the link here that is presented and play the game DC Waste Sorting Game. Now I hope that we can apply all the learnings that we have learned today. Not just in the classroom, but also to your homes and in the public areas. That would be the end of our lesson for today. Now, thank you so much for being in my class and listening to me. Thank you! See you next meeting! Bye!